एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ए न्यू सेशन ऑन डेंटिस्ट्री एंड मोर सो टुडे वी हैव फ्लोरोसिस इंडेक्स सो फ्लोरोसिस इंडेक्स वी आर नॉट डीलिंग ऑल इंडेक्सेस वी आर जस्ट सीइंग डेंस फ्लोरोसिस इंडेक्स सो लेट्स सी सम बेसिक फैक्टर्स अबाउट फ्लोरोसिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड व्हाट इज फ्लोरोसिस इट इज नथिंग बट हाइपोप्लेसिया और हाइपोमेनलाइजेशन ऑफ टूथ एनामेल और डेंटिन produced by chronic ingestion of excess amount of fluoride that is more than 2 ppm or 1 ppm while teeth are developing so it is affecting only when the mineralization of teeth is happening so we have seen all these uh, history of fluoride the colorado springs the great frederick mckay and gv black so this is how a uh, Motile enamel or fluorosis looks like the fluoridated water arrow pinpoints the discolored cracks or pitted areas. So before that, we need to differentiate what is fluorosis and what is non-fluoride enamel opacities. So how a fluoride affects the tooth and other uh, reasons for enamel opacities. While the area affected, we can see. The fluorosis will always be near the cusp tip or incisal edge, but in other non-fluoride thing, it will be smooth surface and it will be centered and affects the whole crown. Shape of the lesion will be always pencil shading because it follows the incremental lines where the deposition of minerals occur. This will be round and oval. Demarcation is like shades of imperceptibly into surrounding normal, but there will be a clear demarcation between the normal and adjacent uh, from this opacities. Color will be paper white. This will be creamy yellow and dark orange. Teeth affected. That teeth calcify slowly. Molars and premolars rare on lower incisor and very rare on deciduous teeth. But this can happen. Non-fluoride opacities can happen on any tooth. Deciduous tooth may be involved. Gross hypoplasia will be will not be there. Enamel has glazed appearance, and enamel surface will be etched, rough to explore. Detection will be strong light. Line of light should be tangential. Strong light line of sight should be perpendicular to tooth surface. Okay, so we have many indices. We are not checking in detail. We will be seeing only Dean's fluorosis index. So this is a famous Trendley H. Dean who has performed Shula the survey and twenty one city study. He has put forward the Dean's classification of Dental fluorosis for assessing presence and severity of motile enamel. So the salient features of fluorosis index is it is a seven-point scale, uh, and although no numbers were used, it was considered to be an ordinal scale. Ordinal scale means it is kept in order. The lowest one means not affected. And the highest one means very severely affected. It goes in order. So one, two, three, four, five, six. As it goes higher, more severity is reported. So that is ordinal scale. And all those showing hypoplasia other than mottling of enamel were placed in normal category. And children who had not lived in the community continuously had not obtained the domestic water from other than public supply are. removed from the category so how do we uh, check uh, a patient with mouth mirror and throw uh, a good natural light with subject facing the window and each individual receives a score corresponding to clinical appearance of two most affected teeth so we put score for each tooth of that patient and we take up the two highest affected tooth if suppose Two highest affected tooth are the scores are three and four. We take the lowest to score that is three. If the two highest scores are similar, four and four, we take four. If it is three and three, we take three. So, out of twenty eight teeth, whichever tooth has got the highest, that scores we will take. Not the tooth, the scores we take. 
if it is 1 and 0.5 the highest score we take 0.5 if the highest two scores are 1 and 1, we take 1. So whichever two score is coming, highest we take up. So if uh, the score 3 has repeated more than twice, we definitely take 3. So the highest two scores are taken. And if there is a doubt, lower score is recorded. So this is the original criteria in 1934. The normal questionable very mild mild moderate moderately severe and severe but in 42 the modified version combined moderately severe and severe so it becomes six point ordinal scale so these two uh, combined so it was before it was seven point ordinal scale now it is six point ordinal scale now this is one this one is extensively used and WHO recommended in basic survey manual 97 that is fourth edition and scoring system is between 0 to 4 so let's see what is the scores normal 0 means the translucent semi which forms smooth glossy pale creamy color but the questionable point 0.5 is slight change that is slight aberration from translucency to occasional there will be occasional white spots very mild means small opaque paper white area scattered over 25 percentage of the tooth and it will be less than 1 to 2 mm opacity at the tip of the summit of cus this is mild at least 50 percent of the tooth will be affected this paper white area will be more extensive and three all the enamel surface are affected surface may be attrition are involved and brown staining might be there severity 4 that is score 4 means all enamel surfaces are affected there will be major diagnostics and this discrete or confluent pitting discrete means the borders are very demarcated confluent means the borders cannot be distinguished and there will be corroded like appearance that is severity number score and why it is 4 because there is 0 and there is a 0 0.5 and rest are 1 2 3 4 5 1, 2 3 4 not 5 1 2 3 4 and 0 and 0.5 so it is a 6 point ordinal scale so that's all about Dean's fluorosis index so I explained its little bit of history the classification modification so I'll come up with a new session on dentist channel thank you